What's up guys, Evil D Extreme here. Um, if you watched the first video, you should have a static IP address now. What we're going to do is we're going to register to Xlinks KAI and then install a program. Um, just open up your internet browser and then you want to type in Xlinks KAI. Pretty much you're just Google searching it. Uh, the very first tab, just click on that. Okay, and then right here you'll see sign up. Okay, what you want to fill out is, let's see here, just fill out all this information right here. And you want to click on Microsoft Xbox. If you have other consoles, I mean you can click them, it really doesn't matter. But we, we, we're worried about the Microsoft Xbox. <clears throat> on your X tag, just like on the site, you need to use your, your gamer tag for Xbox Live. That way if we run any lobbies or anything... Um, we'll be able to invite you in for the VIP guys through their gamer tag. <clears throat> Once you've got that, you want to scroll down. And really, the only other thing you want to worry about is Xbox Live headset. And the reason that is, click yes, because some games do um, support headset through System Link. But unfortunately, Call of Duty doesn't. Um, what it is, they they assume since your system link in your house you don't you don't need it you can hear each other and then once you've done that submit it If you got any errors just fix them and then resubmit once you've got that done go up here to download okay this one right here download xlinks kai evolution 7.4 for windows if you've got a mac or a linux or anything i mean you can go in here and do the one you need um, really don't know how to set those up but just click on that and save it let that it's not a very big program so it should just take a second to download okay once it's downloaded click on it press run okay it should just take a second the next there we go next you want to accept it press next um, this is asking where you want to save it. I save mine in program files. Most people do. Um, then click install. Okay. Now we've got it installed on our computer. Alright, you can exit out the web browser. Alright, here's an important part. If you do not do this, it will not work for Vista users and Windows 7 users. Um, let's go to the start button. Go to all programs and go down and find Xlinks. Let's right click on start, start KAI, and then go down to properties. Okay. Once you've got the properties set up, you want to hit the compatibility tab. Okay. Now you want to check on run and compatibility mode. Don't change the setting here. Just click the thing. All right. And then down here at the bottom, privilege level, run this program in administrator. If you don't do this, you'll get an error every time you try to open it. Okay, now I'm gonna show you guys how to use this a little bit, um, but we still got to do some stuff on the Xbox before we can actually link to Xlinks. Okay, once you've done that, open up your web browser and load a random page, which might be Cradle to Grave. Um, the reason you have to do this, if you click on Start KAI, it'll just sit there and spin and spin and spin and it'll never load. Um, it's a little trick I've learned. Open up a web page and then Start KAI. Should pop right up. Here you go. Right, once you've got that popped up, what you want to do is you want to don't log in with your tag. Right down here at the bottom, you'll see Configure X Links KAI. Do that. Okay. Over here, you'll see Engine Settings. Enter your default X tag. And your password. And then down here, you want to auto log in. Allow remote UI connections. Disable sleep mode and auto open chat do not change anything else and then press save okay so now when you open it up what it's going to do it's going to automatically open up the chat 
Okay, and this is where people just chat and talk about random stuff. Okay, and then once you open up the ch the start KI KAI, damn it, then you're gonna go down here to start user interface, and this is where you're gonna select your games, consoles, and all that. What you do is you first we're gonna you go up here to the little globe, and then you'll see Xbox. You press right on your Xbox, and then you'll pick what type of game, first person shooter. And then, as you can see, like right here, is Black Ops. Right now, there is lobbies going on in each one of these countries. The U.S., there's one private arena right now. That's it. And somebody's playing modded zombies. Um, so what we'll do is we'll start an arena right here. And you'll go in and pretend like this says C2G uh, Lobby. And then you'll press right on it. And then, you know, down here it'll say how many players are here. You put just me and no, I'm trying to join, and then you'll do that. Okay. Once you do that, if you want to see if you're connectable or not, you can go up and hit this little magnifying glass. Okay. Right here it says network reachable. That's good. Right here it says it's locked, and that should say yes, but it says no because my console is not on right now. I haven't showed y'all how to set that up yet. You can also hit the little tab right here. And this will show you if your console is even detectable, which mine isn't because I don't have the console on. And that's pretty much how you use it. Um, I'm gonna this. I'm gonna stop this video and then start up another video showing you guys how to set up your Xbox. And normally, what you would do is you start up your Xbox. You go into Black Ops, Modern Warfare 2, or whatever game you're wanting to play on X Links, and then you go to System Link. And then you'd come over here, you start your X Links up and do what I just showed you. And then you go back to your Xbox and refresh System Link, and you should see our lobby.